All right, hey guys, and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about another quick tip in Blender. Um, this one has to do with the cloth simulator, and it is about pinning with cloths. So, you may have had a time in Blender where you have a cloth. This plane is a good example. And um, let's say you have uh, your cloth, but you want it to all fall down. You want it to hang on this one corner. Uh, but whether it be because it's a curtain or because it's hanging off something like a tassel or some such similar thing. Um, it's really simple, easy way to keep that one in place or to even animate it moving and have the rest of the cloth move accordingly. So here's how it's done. So basically what I'm going to do is go into the subdivided mesh that is our cloth and we select one of the corners. And now this corner is going to be our pin, this corner I have selected here. Well, we're going to do two things. First off, we're going to create a new vertex group, and um, it doesn't really matter what we call it, but I like to call it pin. And then with our just one uh, vertice, or however many vertices you want as a pin, you click assign. So now um, that vertice has an assigned pin. Now let's say I also want to animate this, excuse me, then what I'll do is I will press control H, which is the hook, uh, hook to new object. Now we don't. We could do selected object if we already had it empty, but in this case we don't. So I'm going to add a new one. Now I'm going to tab out of the mesh because our work here is done. And if we grab this empty here, you'll notice that the uh, empty moves the mesh all the way around. So what we're going to next do is make sure that we have our hook properly applied here, and you can see we do in our modifiers pane. Now we go over to the, um, of course, set up our cloth or not collision. We want cloth here. And um, we're going to do this, and then we're going to make sure we turn on self-collision so that when it falls down, it'll collide with itself. Now, we're on frame one, so if I press Alt-A, you can see that nothing here is still working. It's still performing as a normal cloth uh, simulation would under the circumstances. Well, the one thing we, don't ha we haven't done yet, and we are about to do right now, is select pinning, and then select the vertex group you want. Now, you can select a different vertex group, but you cannot select multiple, so that's something to keep in mind. The stiffness meter is something we'll get to here in a minute, but right now we have our plane, and if we press Alt A, you'll notice that, yep, just like we said, it only goes to this one corner, and now we can also grab this, and you'll see the cloth deforms uh, accordingly. And uh, let's put some smooth shading on this, so that it uh, just looks a little bit better. And of course we can subdivide this more and more and more, but you can also see here with our stiffness, if we turn this down to zero now, and we grab it here, it's going to be very... See that, how the uh, corner really greatly uh, protrudes from the actual surface here. And that's just the stiffness is um, at how far the cloth can be deformed from the point. Mainly this applies to when it's moving. So if I, you know, flap it around, it's going to be deformed quite a bit from the point, more so than it normally would be. But I have the stiffness turned back um, back up to one here, because that's what, uh, that's what we want. So you can also do the same thing here with uh, two. So if I go here, and I press Control H again and hook to new object and then I make sure to also add this to the pin group. Now if we press go back to our cloth one and press Alt A you'll notice here that we have two so we have a curtain sort of thing and we can still grab each of these individually and move them around or we can grab them both together and you'll see yep it's not perfect here but it's pretty good um, I believe that's because I have the stiffness turned down or maybe not. Um, oh yes here's the also other important thing this is why I'm actually getting this kind of weird error. If we go over here to the uh, add modifier, you'll see that one of our hooks is after the cloth. And we want to make sure that when you have hooks that are influencing the cloth simulation, that they are applied before the cloth simulation, or else it will lead to weird results. So you see now they're both moving in tandem, and uh, the cloth is moving accordingly. So that's something to watch out for. It's usually better to go ahead and set up all your hooks and pins before you actually start working on the cloth simulation, fine tuning, so that uh, you don't get a mess up like I just had there. All right, well, that's about it for our tutorial today. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you next time.